Today on the channel, we've got the Mattel Ringside Collectibles exclusive of Tommaso Ciampa. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Mattel Elite unboxing and review. And today, we've got Tommaso Ciampa, the ringside collectible exclusive that released right at the very tail end of 2021. I guess I couldn't fault anybody for counting this as a 2021 figure, or possibly a 2022. To me, the majority of people got this uh, very early in January, uh, the January 1st time frame, but a few did get it at the end of the year, so really you could go either way. Personally, I'm going to count this as a 2022 figure, so we'll see if it ends up on my year-end countdowns at the end of 2022. And of course, we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. But Tommaso Ciampa, no stranger to the Mattel Elite line. I believe this is his third third figure i think that is correct we'll do a little comparisons at the end like we normally do and of course this is your first time to the channel make sure you subscribe if you like action figures wrestling figures marvel legends you name it make sure you subscribe to the channel we're unboxing everything everything on the channel so stay tuned for more of that if you're into it but let's take a look at Tommaso Ciampa and the packaging. I gotta say, though, this is an interesting pick for a ringside collectible exclusive. You know, we've got Cactus Jacks. We get a little bit more heavy hitter names. Not that Tommaso Ciampa is not a heavy hitter. He is one of the biggest heavy hitters in NXT, or was, depending on how his career goes. It sounds like he may be up to the main roster very soon. I wouldn't be shocked to see him in the Royal Rumble here in January. Uh, we'll see how that nets out. But it's a, a bit of a deep cut for a ringside collectibles exclusive, it felt like to me. And personally, I could see this one hanging around the ringside collectibles website for a long time. You might even see this on clearance down the line. So if you're playing that long game, might be a good opportunity here. It's not like that Ultimate Warrior that sells out like that. Then it gets restocked, sells out like that. Or a little bit of the bubbly we saw with Jericho or the Blood Brothers pack. Uh, it's special, but not as special as some of the other ones we've gotten over the last couple of years. And I think that's a fair assessment. But that being said, I'm okay with it. I'm all right. It's got special packaging at least. How about that? Well, let's take a look at old Tommaso. There it is named down here by my hands. WWE logo. Of course, Ringside Collectibles exclusive sticker. Uh, you got Tommaso in there. Uh, extra set of hands. He's got the ricochet hands, the big, long hands. I got a feeling they're going to look a little weird on him, but we'll see. We'll try them all out. I wish there was a fisted hand. I'm a broken record, but I think he should have a fist. The nice thing is that, uh, what is it, left hand? Yep, left hand. I could grab a fisted hand from my bags of hands. I've got millions of extra hands. I could move that, but you know I'm such a purist. I probably won't, but I very well could, So, and I might do that. We'll see. On the very top, you get that cool uh, War Games NXT logo at the very top. I love it. I love War Games. As a little kid going to the video store and renting the War Games uh, Starcade or Great American Bashes usually. Oh, man. Next level for me. Two rings, cages, blood, guts. That's what I want out of my cage matches. So the War Games is always something special to young Kyle. I still enjoy it in this day and age. It is unfortunate there's no roof on the cage. Uh, there's still a lot of action, but it's just, I don't know. Maybe it's just because times have changed. It's not quite the same. But I will say I was uh, right in the front row in Chicago. Was it 2019, 18? I can't even remember. What is time anymore? For the War Games where Adam Cole and Tommaso Ciampa jumped off the top of the cage through the table. Uh, that was pretty awesome. That was one of my favorite, if not yeah, probably my second favorite War Games match of all time, just because I was there up close. A lot of heavy hitter, a lot of big players in that. A very, very fun weekend of wrestling that was. Uh, really the last great weekend of wrestling uh, for me. So we'll see. But War Games, always a special event. And this is uh, showing his outfit from the War Games. So that is cool. It's an event specific attire. I do like that. Uh, you got Tommaso Ciampa looking like a Viking there. Elite logo on the bottom. Looking even crazier over here. You guys know Kyle's a sucker for a mask, so you guys, you guys know I'm all in on this one. Tommaso Ciampa, a guy a lot like Damian Priest for me. Uh, he was in, of course, Ring of Honor before. I thought, oh, he's okay, but I never really thought he'd go as far as he did. You're not always right about uh, your prospects out there, so he's went pretty far. It'll be interesting where he goes from there. On the back, got a big blur, big glamour shot of him walking to the ring in the uh, regalia, we'll call it. You got the Elite logo, of course. Let's see what this blurb says. Let's see what's going on. No one will survive. And really, it is true. None of us ever get out of this world alive, do we? It's deep talk, deep thoughts. 
Uh, nobody in NXT can question the toughness, grit, and determination of the black heart. The former NXT champion overcame neck surgery, knee surgery, and forfeiting the NXT championship. He lovingly named Goldie. Only to return to the ring stronger and better than ever, his true test, however, came in the form of the master of ground and pound offense, the broken tooth Timothy Thatcher at NXT TakeOver War Games 2020. Now, Timothy Thatcher recently released this week as I'm filming this. Very disappointing. I was thinking about doing a video of my most wanted elites in 2022, and he was on my list as that's the kind of style old Kyle likes. Uh, so I hope there's more Timothy Thatcher in the future. Uh, underrated talent. Uh, coming down the aisle, armed and ready for battle, Ciampa went toe-to-toe -to -toe against Thatcher with hard-hitting attacks, breaking down limbs, and working over body parts until there was almost nothing left. But the respect of two warriors who live by an ethos of pain. So there it is. Nice copy on these. A little bit more long-winded than your traditional elites. And guess what? Old Kyle is totally fine with that. I love it. I love a good blurb. I love the packaging. I don't keep them in on card, but I love the whole experience, as you guys know. So we yank him out. There is that. See you later. Goodbye. All right. Now, has been a custom with the ringside collectibles for about the last year. The Ultimate Warrior, the Cactus Jack, the NWO Cena. Now the Tommaso Ciampa. Uh, a little background. Very, very cool for you guys taking pictures, fig feds, stuff like that. It's basically the entrance way of his entrance. So I think that is pretty cool. I think I like that. I like what they're doing there. Would be something cool if they did that in the actual Mattel regular line. Maybe the costs don't make that work so much, but would be a really cool thing to do. I like that a whole lot. We will save that. I don't think I'll display it that way, but I will save it. So we like that there. Plastic prison time, old Tommaso Ciampa. There he is. Look at that. Like I said, he has mask. He's got his hood. He's got two extra hands. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. And then we got soft goods on him as well. And you guys know we love soft goods for sure. Pull that out. Pop the hands out, possibly. 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 See you later. Get out of here. There it goes. All right, hands. They're the open ricochet hands. We've seen them a bazillion times. I hope Mattel, sooner or later, shrinks these fingers down just a hair. Just shrink them down a little bit. Uh, they're just way, way oversized. We're then on the opposite end of the spectrum. You get Super 7 that the hands are just a little bit too small. Uh, and the Jazz wear is just about right. Just about right. So that's, that's the hands discussion. There it is right there. All right, Tommaso Ciampa. First thing I notice here, and a little bit of a surprise to me, we have pinless joints, double jointed pinless joints on this one. Uh, I do like that. It is pinless joints on the top, not the bottom. The legs and all that is not pinless. Nice boot cut, ankle swivel, thigh swivel, of course, waist swivel, ab crunch, head. Is the head removable? Let's see. It is not. We know in the Mattel Elite main line, the heads are easily popped over, switch back and forth. This is still old style where you got to heat it up, pop it off. Uh, I don't know what you need to switch this head for, but maybe you got an idea. So there you go. Uh, the hands are removable, of course. Double jointed elbows, biceps, swivel. Um, but yeah, very good. So very, I'm not going to say plain, but right off the bat, you see the robe. That's what you see. You don't know, does he have a shirt on underneath this? What does he have? And it makes his tights and everything look black. So he, he does look like a menacing figure of darkness. He's gets, he has this nice like steel face mask going on. Something like a gladiator would wear in you know, gladiator times. Mm, yeah, and then a hood to go over the top. So let's put this off. Before we disrobe him, let's put this mask on. And of course, as you can imagine, we've never seen this mask before. We're probably never going to see it again in Elite Line. So it's a one-and-done accessory. That is probably part of the extra cost for this figure is it's a little bit more than your traditional Elite figure. And you fit that on. And this is how he'll be displayed for me. I love it. You guys know I love masks on my wrestlers. So this is as close as he's going to get to a mask. But looks awesome. Definitely looks awesome. I do on his forearm, got a little divot in the plastic. I don't know if I've seen that before, but just a little divot, not the end of the world. And I got one on the other side too. So right on his forearm, there's a little like chip in the plastic. That is a little strange. Uh, but yeah, you can see his eyes through there. And I love how his eyes, uh, their brightness. I don't remember wearing contacts like Rey Mysterio would, special contacts or uh, Aleister Black used to wear in his eye. I guess he still wears it now as Malachi Black. I still like Aleister better, but Malachi Black. He doesn't look like he has that, but it almost looks like it on the figure. Uh, great beard on him. I think him growing his long beard was uh, part of his rise to superstardom. I think that really did help with him. It set him apart, set him different. And then the little gray streaks in it look pretty good. So uh, they got the beard down pat. It looks like he has a necklace on as well. Let me disrobe him. Let me see what is going on. 
Let me see what what's doing here. Uh, very easy to get this robe off, uh, especially with the pinless joints. It seems like it's a little easier to flex around and move. This is a nice material. It's like a different type of material. Uh, I don't know. I, don't, I can't explain the material. I guess I'm not a material expert, but a little bit different. has the Velcro attachment and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, Tommaso Ciampa here. And I like this body style on Tommaso Ciampa. Looks like I got a little stress in the plastic in the rib cage too. So there's a, a few quality issues on this one. Very strange. He does have his chest hair here, which is a must. Gotta have a must. I wish it was this real feel chest hair. Oh, that would be something like that old Jax HBK. But now, eh, what do you do? Uh, but he does have that. Yeah, that little stress in the plastic really takes my eye though every time I look at it. So a few quality issues here. Uh, we got a painted on belt, painted on pockets on this one. So we do have some design. It is not just a black pants, black plain pants here. There is a little bit something to it. Um, so there is all right, but I like the kind of muscular, skinnier torso. Is He's one of those guys that I assume is bigger than he is, and I guess that's good for his character. He wrestles big. He wrestles like he's a bigger guy when he's really not that big of a guy. I mean, he's probably right about six feet tall at best, uh, but he seems like he's taller than that, if that makes sense. Does he fit on a stand? I'm sure he does. Why would he not? Uh, I like that he has this uh, his little necklace thing. It's like a little pocket, little leather necklace type thing. So that's a nice extra attention to detail with this one. Uh, so you can't be mad about this. I think it's worth the money. Uh, in my heart, I do think you might be able to get some deals on this. If they have a WrestleMania or Royal Rumble special sale, you might be able to get this a little bit cheaper. Uh, but you never know. When it's gone, it's gone. Exclusives are, are a moment in time. You don't want to miss out, if, especially if you're a big Tommaso Ciampa fan. If you're a huge fan, you're buying this day one. Uh, you got to. Of course, we have a few other ones. We have the DIY one. I believe this was the... This was a little bit of a head scratcher. This was the Target exclusive. Him and Johnny were a Target exclusive in the like the Hall of Fame or Hall of Champions is what it was. Uh, I'm not against it, but it felt like it should have been more legend based. So it always kind of stuck out with these guys in there. It's okay. Uh, you guys know the Polly Pocket shirts look terrible. I really should upgrade and get soft goods for these two, uh, but I haven't got to it yet. But we do have this one. And then quite possibly my favorite one. It is very close between these two. Uh, but this is the Elite one from, gosh, was it Elite 69, 79? Something with a 9? Uh, I can't remember. Probably uh, back and forth. But a very, very strong one. Coming with this crutch. Coming with the uh, knee brace, which is really good. And then the head sculpt was good. Just about as good as this one, really. But I really do love the camo pants that came on this one. Just a very, very solid figure. Uh, I'm here for it. I'm here for more Tommaso Ciampa figures. Like I said, I wasn't a big fan of Ring of Honor. I didn't think of really a whole lot of him. But boy, if you watched NXT, especially the last few years, he really grew on you. Was a great champion, a great ambassador of the brand, how about? And then unfortunately recently lost the NXT title, signifying a changing of the guard, as one might say. Uh, Bob Dylan might say that on the 1983 album Street Legal, I think. Look it up. Uh, but changing of the guard there, and I think he will be hitting the main roster. We'll see how that nets out for him. I hope it's not like a carrying cross situation or where he gets lost in the shuffle and then he's gone. That would suck, but I got a feeling he will be in the Royal Rumble. My heart tells me that. Uh, but some solid, solid figures. These two are pretty good. I don't know if this is a must-have, but it is a moment in time to represent him in his time in DIY with Johnny Gargano. So it may be a must-have for you. Speaking of you, what say you? Did you pick up this Tommaso Ciampa? Did you pick up any of these? Are you planning on it? What are your thoughts on this figure? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video, of course. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And it always helps to share the videos, as you guys know. Let's get some more eyes on the product. There you go. Uh, but like, comment, subscribe, and share, all that kind of fun stuff. And follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And of course, Pro Wrestling Tees, support the channel, pick up a t-shirt, search Kyle Peterson. So for Tommaso Ciampa, and I'm going to say it, all of NXT, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.